What is up, bros and brettes? I'm Slasher 44 and we got some exciting news today. I woke up to find this in my YouTube subscription feed. This should help you remember everything. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Everything you know is wrong. Your life will be consumed by absolute loss. He doesn't need his own weapons. He's got ours. They'll always need men like us. Our greatest barrier is our own fear. Our own doubts. The only thing holding us back is how far we are willing to go. So yes, Black Ops 3 is 100% confirmed, so let's get into breaking down what this thing means, what is going on in this teaser trailer. Uh, first of all, this trailer was only uploaded to bigger YouTubers channels, not the Call of Duty channel, so like T-Mart, Drifter, all got this video from Treyarch to upload, which kind of lines up with their whole viral marketing campaign that they're doing for Black Ops 3 with the whole Snapchat thing. But yeah, let's get into breaking down this trailer right now. So as far as the audio goes, most of the quotes said in this video are from past Black Ops games, except for the final quote said in this trailer, and it is this right here. Our greatest barrier is our own fear, our own doubts. The only thing holding us back is how far we are willing to go. So my guess is is that this is actually Dr. Salim, reason being he's really the only character in this game that we've really been introduced, but I could be totally wrong, I'm just totally guessing. That is just my guess for something we know very little about. Now, let's get into some video clues because there are so, so many throughout this trailer. So the first visual cue we get is right here, and what this is is it is coordinates to something called Newtown Primary School in Singapore. Now people have a couple of theories to what this is. First of all, in the Snapchats there is some little girl, and some people have the idea that she is going to this Newtown Primary School. Uh, my guess is that throughout this video there are a lot of coordinates, so my guess is, is these are coordinates for where separate missions in the game are going to be one of them in Newtown Primary School. Maybe Dr. Salim's child goes here, and maybe something like that. But there it's definitely something to do with the campaign going on with Newtown Primary School. So the next visual cue is actually a couple of different things in the same picture. It's right here. So what this is, is first of all, on the right hand side, you can see the coordinates what we'll get into in a second. On the left hand side on the gun, there is a logo for some sort of new faction with a WD surrounding it. Not sure what that is, but it's definitely like a logo for a new faction. To the left of that, above the uh, arrow on the left hand side of the screen, it says 115. And what that actually turns out to be is an element in zombies. So what this means is that pretty much zombies is confirmed. Um, so thumbs up for zombies being confirmed, but we kind of already knew that. Of course, there's not going to be a Treyarch game without zombies. That's like their bread and butter. Now, if we look at the coordinates here, we got 30.0500 and north and uh, 31.2333 east. So where this takes us to is the 6th October Bridge in Egypt. So what this actually is is a bridge that commemorates the ending of a war in 1973 in Egypt. Basically what they did is built this bridge. I think it took them like something like ridiculous like 19 years to build this thing, but it commemorates that war. So there's kind of two options here. Either they go back in time and go to this war, which is kind of what I think they're going to do, or another option is they there is going to be a mission here um, where they fight and in the future because a ton of people live here in Egypt so that is another option uh, personally I think they're going to be going back in time because they've hinted to a lot of things in the Cold War they've hinted to a lot of things in World War II so it would make sense to, for them to go back to black ops or black operatives in those time periods which is kind of my prediction for that so there is a third set of coordinates, and they are on this guy who is clearly being made by these numbers and letters. Uh, it's clearly on his gun right. Boom, here. So the next set of coordinates is as follows, 47.3667 north and 8.5500 east. This takes us to Gefegnis Prison in Switzerland. Now, Gefegnis is in Zurich, Switzerland, and I have some thoughts about this. So one, these are all these coordinates are taking to us to locations of missions in the single player, or two, all of these coordinates are taking us to locations of zombie maps 
in the future Black Ops. Like, not a bad idea, right? And the reason why I say this is, first of all, there's a bunch of weird symbols in this video that no one knows what they are. Two, you see 115 throughout this video, and that's an element related to zombies throughout the past in zombies throughout the Treyarch game. So maybe these aren't single-player missions. Maybe they're zombies maps. It's just an idea. I don't know. This is not confirmed whatsoever. It's just an idea. So very clearly these numbers are making up the Black Ops guy, which, which you can compare here to the Black Ops 1 case. So not the Black Ops 2, but the Black Ops 1, so maybe they're going more to the Black Ops 1 story route, I'm not sure. Um, but then on top of that, it goes on to show you the Black Ops 3 logo, and then finally after that shows that on April 26, 2015, we are going to be getting the world reveal for Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which is super, super exciting. I don't know whether it's just going to be a trailer or another teaser or what it's going to be, but that'll be on the 26th, so look forward to seeing something about that on my channel. Um, that is all for today, guys. This video took me a lot, a lot of effort to make, so if you could go ahead and hit that like button, first of all, for Black Ops 3 being confirmed, second of all, for zombies pretty much being confirmed with that 115 find, so let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed, and until next time, guys, peace out!